Hello and welcome back. Before we can jump into coding and do our hands on with Spark, we need to understand few more important topics such as partition, transformation, action, why Spark prefers Leji evaluation, and Spark session. Today we are going to deep dive into these topics. To start with, let's understand what is partition. So, to allow executors to work in parallel, Spark breaks down the data which we call the input data into chunks, which is known as partition. If you remember our last example, we had a bag of marbles and the marble were segregated into pouches. In this example, you can consider these pouches as partition. So according to this example, our data was partitioned into four partitions. Now this four partition of data can be executed by four tasks in parallel. This allows Spark parallel processing capability. Now let's understand what are transformation. Transformation are nothing but basically the instructions or code that we supply in order to modify or transform our data. The examples are select, where, group by, and the transformation helps Spark to build up the logical plan. There are basically two types of transformations, narrow and wide. So consider this example. We have an employee data set where we have to do certain transformations like first we have to select only those employees who have salary greater than 10,000. Then we have to select only the name department ID and salary from the data set. And the third transformation that we do is we do a group by on the employee data based on the department ID. Now if you see this whole workflow is a type of logical plan that is designed to start from the data set which is employee and end at the final data set which gives us the group by data which is required as the final output. So this is how the transformations are done where we have where as a transformation, select as a transformation and group by as a transformation. Now what is a narrow and a wide transformation? Consider you have data partitions. Now this data partitions contribute to only one data partition. Similarly, the other one also contributes to at most one and the third one also contributes to at most one. This type of transformation is known as narrow transformation. But in case where one partition can contribute to more than one partitions like this, like this partition is contributing to three partitions. Similarly, the other one is also contributing to three partitions. This type of transformation is known as wide transformations. Now, as you can see in the example, the data from one partition is moved to multiple partitions. This is what we also known as shuffle. Wide transformations lead to shuffle. What are actions? We already understood transformation right now. In order to execute that logical plan, what transformation creates, we need actions. Actions basically trigger the execution plan. There are basically three types of actions. First, to view the data in console. Second, to collect the data in native languages. Third, if we write the data in output data sources. So we just discussed transformation and action. But what is the use of transformation and action? Basically, Spark prefers Leji evaluation. It means Spark will wait till the last moment to execute its computational graph. Now, what is this computational graph? This is the transformational logical plan that was created. And when an action is called, that transformation graph gets executed. So Spark will wait until an action is called. And why this is necessary? This is necessary for Spark optimize and plan the resources properly. This also leads to executional benefits. Let's understand with an example. Consider you have a sandwich shop and a customer comes up to you and asks for a sandwich. And he asks for a white bread sandwich at first. You start preparing the sandwich and the customer changes his mind and asks for a brown bread now. What will happen? First, you will waste your time on that white bread sandwich. Second, your white bread is wasted, which is your resource. But what is the better way? Consider you wait for that customer, to complete his order and pay for it. This payment is an action. Once the payment is done, the order is locked. Now you know what the customer wants. What is the order? Now you know the customer needs a brown bread and whatever ingredients into that sandwich. You can easily plan for it and now you can make the sandwich in more optimized way. This is what is called Leji evaluation and Spark also prefers Leji evaluation. And the last topic for today is what is Spark session? So if you remember that example, that instructor, the instructor was the driver and that driver process is Spark session. 
Spark session is basically the entry point for the Spark execution. Spark session is responsible to execute code in cluster. And for one Spark application, there can be only one Spark session. Don't worry, if you're still confused about Spark session, we still have hands-on sessions. We'll see Spark session elaborately in our hands-on session. Today we understood what are partitions, what are transformation in action, how Spark works on Lazy evaluation, and what is Spark session. In our next video, we will see what is tag, what are data frames, what are structured APIs, and how Spark designs the execution plans. Till then, keep learning, keep growing, keep sharing.